welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing some uh, tech know-how with you. Um, it's about uh, OEO CDs. Um, I know a lot of you were saying, we don't use OEO CDs anymore. We download music from iTunes and Amazon and stuff like that. But, you know, you still have, you know, like, a collection and the in the closet somewhere or there's still a lot of people who still buy CDs so this is pretty much for people who want to uh, digitize their CD collection so they could use it for other means as well as also it backs up the CD as well because you know CDs could be scratched easily and they could break and stuff like that and plus they're not as portable anymore I mean now you have cell phones that could fit four or five thousand songs and stuff and if you translate to carrying all that in terms of CDs which some CDs hold the most what 20 songs maybe so that could be a lot of CD you got to be lunking around so so digitizing it will make it easier for you to transport them as also will make it easier for you to put them in uh, either your cell phone tablet or upload it to a uh, cloud service of some sort so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So uh, let's begin. First you click on the start button. You go to a software called Windows Media Player. And over here you just select your uh, CD drive and it will open the CD and if you set up your Windows Media Player to go online and get the metadata. You don't need to, you know, put in the name of tracks or anything like that. It just gets all that information online. So when you rip the CD, it just names the tracks for you. So there's really not much you need to configure in terms of, you know, uh, digitizing a CD. Uh, there's a few important settings you need to do is that you want to um, set your format to mp3 it's being the most efficient and being the most universally known and used you could use that on your phones and on your tablets and you know and be played on most uh, smart TVs and things like that so mp3 is a bit is the best format for that and the audio card depending you know uh, how much disk space you have. I mean, if you if you're kind of uh, stingy with disk space, you could do 128. But um, I would say, you know, if you don't care about disk space and quality is what you're looking for, you go with the highest settings, the 320. But uh, I, I like to have a balance, so I, I stick with one 192. So once that happens, you just hit the rip button and it will start ripping for you now um, this could take anywhere from three to five minutes depending on how fast your computer and you know how many songs are on the CD so let's just fast forward this okay now the CD have finished uh, ripping I will now show you uh, where it saves all the music files to but before we do that, I'm going to show you how to uh, set uh, Windows Media Player so it could download all the artwork and music titles and all that. Uh, so you just right click, you go to Tools, you go to Options, and you click on Privacies. And you just need to enable uh, these two settings, Display Media Info from the Internet and Update Music files by retrieving media info from the internet you just need these two to check and click OK and every CD you put in it will automatically uh, get the artwork and uh, music titles for you and you don't need to do anything in terms of uh, naming your files or that so let's go to the folder where it always saved to so it's usually saved to uh, your document folder or your uh, profile folder so you just click on your profile uh, folder here and it's a, there's a folder in there called music you click on music and depending on the kind of CD it is it could be uh, like just the artist but uh, in mine it's kind of like a, a various mix so you just go into the various artists and here's the title of the CD and in it 
is the all the songs with the titles and the artist name and the album and all, all that good stuff so now you could ready to you know put this on a media storage device for safekeeping or upload it to iTunes or put it on your cell phones or tablets or uh, import this into uh, your media server like a uh, Plex so um, now that's pretty much it in terms of ripping a CD and backing up a CD um, and uh, like I say if you like this video you know uh, click subscribe and like if you like the video and uh, if you have any questions or comments please just leave it in the comment below and uh, if you want to stay tuned for more videos uh, click on the bell button on the right below the video and uh, uh, to stay up to date with all the new videos that's coming up on the channel so that's it everybody have a good day and uh, I'll talk to you on the next video